This was a watch called a Gruen Gold Nugget. At least that's the best we could tell. And this was a popular watch at that time. What do you remember about that? That is like the second photo shoot I'd done with LL. It was a cover shot. And so I wanted to get some close up pictures. And, you know, he has a nice watch on. He's got a lot more jewelry on in this picture than he did in, when I photographed him in 1985. And he's got all his moves down. I mean, he's doing the LL sign. LL stands for ladies love, and everybody did love LL Cool J. All right, so I love this EPMD shot. Can you tell me the story of that? It was the third album cover I'd done for them. And that day, it was kind of like a sort of October, November type of fall day. Sun went down early. So they had told me to meet them out in Babylon, Long Island. And the sun's starting to go down. So around three o'clock, we drove to a phone box. Remember those things? And I called the manager and he's like, oh yeah, yo, they're getting the, the rims shined on their cars in the Bronx. And I'm like, holy crap. So I go back to the spot and about 15 minutes, you know, before the sun was about to go down, I hear this roar of the V8 engine. There they were. And I just started taking pictures. And more than the watch, I will say, what was extraordinary to me was what they were wearing, because it was a style that I'd never seen a rapper wear anything like this before. And they just showed up like this. They just showed up like that, and they ended up in the album cover. They're actually sitting on the hood of the car. I mean, it's just one of those classic moments, but I had to do a whole album cover in 15 minutes. And it was, you know, you just have to get on with it. You told me that um, Run DMC had their own history with watches. Didn't one of them have a giant swatch on the wall in his apartment? I was doing a story for Spin, I think. It was about, you know, rock stars at home. And I went to photograph Jam Master J in his home. Not only was he wearing a watch, but he had this giant swatch thing. I mean, it was about double the height of him hanging off the wall. And, you know, they really had their look down. They've got the hats, they've got the glasses. You know, they just they just look good. And what, what watch are they flaunting here? There's two. There's a Swatch and a, a Rolex Datejust. Isn't that crazy? Like, Swatch is over there, in my mind, and Rolex is over there. I mean, they're different animals, right? And what's funny is that they both look completely at home in this same group at the same time even though the watches couldn't be more different. Flavor Flav, of course, famous for the clock, but this is a stopwatch. What's going on in this image? This image was shot, I shot this also for a British magazine and I was doing uh, a story about Public Enemy. It came to my studio. It was right around fight the power time and everything. And this was before he got the clock. This was probably Flavor Flav's first clock, which was a stopwatch. And I couldn't believe it that he, I was like, he's got this stopwatch hanging around. What, what's the story? But you know that expression, you, you know what time it is. I honestly think that it must have something to do with that. Really? Does. He's, he's straight up said that. I mean, I'm really glad I have that image because, you know, as we all know, he soon had his own TV show and was wearing these clocks that were like bigger than he was and then giving them out to girls and all sorts of things. So, you know, this was the start of it. It started small and those things for what, like five bucks or something? I had one too. Everybody was wearing them. We would just wear them with the jewelry you had around your neck. Like I often had a lot of chains and things, not big gold chains, but chains. And then you'd have a stopwatch. Take me back to this day in 1986 on the Lower East Side with salt and pepper. Once again, it was for a magazine in England who'd somehow heard about these two girls that were, I don't know, I guess they were rhyming, but they did not have a record deal. And I said to them, just meet me at my apartment. We'll just walk around in the neighborhood. And I knew that there were a few murals in the neighborhood and I just thought it might be nice to get them, you know, standing in front of a mural or something. We just hung out all day and they were giggling. They were like, also like a couple of sisters, really, or best friends. They said to me, oh, let's just stop off for a soda. So, you know, we went to the deli and they came out, they got a soda and this kid's walking by and I took that shot. And I really like it because it's just a kind of, that's a really like a moment in time shot, just the style and everything. 
brings us to the last image that we have, which is, I think, one of the most punk rock rap groups ever, which is the Two Live Crew. I took that picture of them actually for the book that I was doing with Bill, and we decided to put them in front of an American flag because at the time they were trying to ban records that had uh, suggestive lyrics in them from being sold. And there was this whole protest going on. And as you can see, they're wearing these t-shirts. I mean, even though it's a serious subject, they're still having fun with it. And we did have a fun time on that shoot. My favorite thing about Luke wearing this watch is that it's a gold Rolex day date, which is sort of known in the watch community as the president. It's like what a diplomat really? or a politician would wear. And of course he's the most undiplomatic figure of, of that that moment. And I, I love the, the kind of irony and the, the sense of play that he was gonna wear a businessman and a diplomat's watch and be undiplomatic. To me, that's just such a wonderful dichotomy. These guys really, we're doing well, I guess. I mean, it's watches really, I guess, say who you are. Jeanette Beckman, thank you so much for being with us today. Nick, thank you for having me. I mean, who knew that Luke Skywalker was wearing the president watch? That blows my mind. That really blows my mind. <laughs>